But just imagine like your first time with a you get pregnant and then after that you realize like I don't even like this. Oh, I would have sent that little baby to Jesus. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. I am pr Yeah, my name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel, become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, so first and foremost, we just want to say to all of our viewers, our subscribers, our members, we just want to say we appreciate you all so much. Yeah. As we see all of our platforms growing, we know you all play a major part, and we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Babe, what are we reacting to today? All right, y'all. So today we're reacting to Taco. Hey, she made it. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very P of her. All right, well, let's see what this is. <laughs> uh -huh. Before we get, and we have not seen this. So yeah. before we get a reaction, do us a favor, hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's go. The key to not giving a fuck what nobody say about you. You feel me? What and is like, it? Well, I can't tell you how to love yourself more, but I can teach you has to not give a fuck what nobody say about you. The key to it all is reading yourself. You know what I'm saying? You already got to know how to read yourself yeah. before anybody else can do it. So by the time they making them same lame ass remarks or them like them little shady <laughs> ass, shiesty ass comments, you can already be in your mind like- Oh, when they try to call you out on some shit. <laughs> that is so true, but that's, y'all, we always talk about shadow work. Yeah. That is so true. Yeah. That's why when Nick said, I really don't be caring. Like, I don't care. Like, some stuff, it will make me want to be like, nook if you book. But then when I sit back and I be like, Carla, why you acting like that? Yeah. Like, I'm like taco. I really be talking to myself like, bitch, why you acting like That's that? That's why also, if you are <laughs> uh, decide to be a YouTuber, it is dope if you can be as transparent as possible with your audience, too. Yeah. Because then it's like you can never be exposed. Yes. <laughs> I said this last week and I cried about it for four hours. Bitch, I'm way ahead of you. You know what I'm saying? So like me, I be reading myself. You gotta be able to read yourself. And take it on the chin, take it as a fucking joke, keep pushing. Don't be sad about it, cause bitch, you still the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why I be telling myself, I got three gold teeth, tattoos all over my face. Bitch, my hair wild, crazy. I be like, bitch, you wanna be a pirate so bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bitch, you look, you, you, you is giving very much Jake and the pirates from fucking Disney Channel. You know what I'm saying? You, you wanna be Blackbeard so bad. And then my clothes never match. I be wearing all these different types of jewelry and crystals. Like, hey, it, but it, Taco it, 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 it. is beautiful. Like, I was on TikTok today and I just so happened to stumble across her. She was on my For You page. And I was like, this woman, this this young lady is really beautiful. She Just, is. Yeah. Yeah. Her style is different. I it, love it, it. It's giving Rugrats, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it, it's giving very much Max and Ruby. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? You gotta be able to read yourself. When you read yourself, nobody else can fucking do it. It's Thank like, you. Because, like, I may be funny looking, but I'm funny acting as well. Ooh. And jokes make the coochie go whoop, whoop. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> I gotta come up with a new intro, because I can't just keep coming on here talking about some... Hey. I like <laughs> it. Okay, new intro, Jellyfish. She came on speeding, spitting some words real quick, dropping gems. And I am back with another sore time because I told y'all since I've been single, I've been running into the most oh, dumbest, most evil. Okay, y'all. So like we said, Taco, she will fall off. So the last thing I knew was that she was all in awe with Anastasia. Oh, that was her name, Anastasia. Yes, Anastasia. That's why I remember Dang. her name, because she used to say it so much. And then, I, if I'm not mistaken, did she get a motherfucking tattoo going down her damn neck? I don't know. That said, Anastasia. Damn, did she? Yes. Mm, mm, mm. She Dang, was saying Anastasia? they were twin flames and everything. Let's see. Statistical fucking... Fake spirituality, 
fake vibes, fake high vibration, having ass females, and I'm tired of it. And I gotta get all these stories out before they all gang up and they form like a fucking mob and they come get me. <laughs> yeah, because hold on, I do think that it is a like it's a trend. It's just like how veganism was a trend. It's just like you hear a lot of people, hey, grand rising and all that shit. And it's like I'm at a point I just do whatever the fuck I want. I don't like nobody's rules or none of that shit. But it is seem like a lot more of that is being is happening. Yeah. So be careful if you're out there in the dating world and you're spiritual and all that stuff. Be careful of them fake grand rising girls, honey. It's orange drives. Hell. Let a bitch know right now. Bitch, I will put your ass on a t-shirt. Don't fucking play with me. Your mama gonna have to set up a GoFundMe fucking oh. with me. But I'm back today and I got another story time. This story time probably won't be that long because nothing really happened between me and this girl. But I just realized, like, a lot of people nowadays in this, like, spirituality community, they be using that shit just to get close to people who really, like, dabble in this shit. You yes. know what I'm saying? I, I don't that like shit, shit like that. It's a lot of shit I don't like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lot of shit I don't like, nigga. Word to Chief Keith. But, like, I don't like people who, like, act like they practice some shit just because somebody else practice it. Be yourself. Be yes. yourself. Be yourself. <laughs> you're a loser. Be yourself. If you're a loser, be a loser. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you a winner, be a winner. Be yourself. If you're a dyke, be a dyke. <laughs> if you're a weirdo, be a weirdo. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I noticed, like, ever since I've been in, like, all this spiritual shit, a lot of people come forward and be like, oh, me too, me too. And then you get to, like, hanging with them and talking to them, and you really realize a lot of these people are fucking weird and, like, corrupted. And, like, they just got nasty-ass, like, dirty-ass souls and vibes. And I don't, I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's this one quote that I've seen on Instagram, and I love it so much because I ran into so many people like this. And the quote basically said, like, be aware of egotistical souls who use spirituality as like a cloak or like as like a like a cover up you know what i'm saying and i have run into so many women like this this may not be long but i talk a lot so i'm gonna make it fucking long because i just don't know when to shut the hell up one so hour I, later you got, oh somebody <laughs> left a comment and was like taco no more white background i'm sorry i switch it out next video but right now i don't feel like switching it out i'll switch it out next video oh y'all like my shirt go get you a shirt from my friend i'm gonna tag their instagram and instagram is uncut identity but i'm gonna tag it anyway go get you a little ladies night but shirt yeah, I'm sucking on so the hard. Yeah. i did like, not catch um, this like, ah! like taco please no more white background i'm sorry i take i take it down next video i got you i got a black one i got a green one which one you want i'm not gonna put that green one up because more than likely i'm probably gonna wear something that match that green one and all yeah, or if you put the green one up you can like change the background through editing and post-production and have like some universe stuff or something like that like how you like the stars and stuff gonna see is like a floating head and scary as shit giving very much haunted mansion the fuck you talking about i'll put a black one up i guess i'm looking at it right now that's why i keep looking over there no i, put it. I like the white one y'all don't like white white cool. is right the fuck you no. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't white it ain't right the fuck you talking about nah real shit um i'll switch it next video all right so listen let me get straight into the story time because i just play too goddamn much and i know i talk too much and i know like a lot i be seeing y'all in the comments talking about some skip to this part because that's where the story began bitch if you don't sit here and i'm not wasting all this goddamn breath and trying to keep up with my goddamn vocabulary for y'all to skip through the goddamn video watch the fucking video bitch but i don't give a fuck because we're I feel her on that. And I guess it just really depends on the person that's doing the video. Like, I think Taco is entertaining. I always know I'm going to get a good laugh. Um, the last person I think I watched, it was Kenya. And um, somebody said, I'm not even going to put a timestamp. They was like, because y'all just need to respect this man for who he is. And I actually like Kenya. It's like I've always liked Kenya. So it's like I do feel like if a creator come on here and they put something out, then watch it. But then I also know that you have people that be wasting time, energy, and space. And you just be like, I just want to get to this part. Yeah, so, I do also like that a lot more viewers are beginning to understand YouTube and how it works. Yeah. Like they're understanding the, impart, the importance of hitting the like button or leaving the comments in the comment section. Or for watching engagement. the ads. Or, yeah, watching ads. And I, yeah. I appreciate that. That's why I say a lot, all of y'all, y'all help us so much and we appreciate it. Yeah, it's like when it's a quality person, I think you should do due diligence and let them, you know, do Let them pop nation in the beginning. Yeah. 
regardless, I'm getting paid. But let me just jump right into it because y'all be so impatient. Like, y'all got something better to do. You <laughs> do not have nothing to do if you're sitting here watching me. Right! I, um, I guarantee. <laughs> I guarantee you literally have nothing to do if you're sitting here watching Taco talk. Let's keep it real with ourselves. Anyway. Like I said in my last YouTube video, I have been single since February of last year. So from February of last year up until, I'm not going to say now because I'm chilling now. From February. <laughs> you did. <laughs> no, it's just one girl and I like her. But anyway. <laughs> oh, bitch, you such a simp. It's just one girl and I like her. I like her. <laughs> shit. Being single, I have just ran into a lot of females and I'm just not enjoying my time because y'all be wasting my fucking time and I just don't get it. Like, you know what really grinds my gears? Fuck you, somebody. You know what really creases my Air Force Ones? You know what really stuffs my Tims? I just don't like... I don't like when y'all press me and waste my time. And I said this in my last video. Literally, I be to my goddamn self. The only women I've probably ever DM'd and been on their neck heavy is Chloe Bailey and Cash Dog. And, and Lisa Bonet. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> I literally, I literally do not be out here. I don't give a fuck. Because like I always say, I want people to leave me alone. The older I get and the more I interact with people and the more I just... I get to learn people and I learn their ways and I just learn shit about people. I be like, a lot of y'all are fucking nasty and not nasty, like dirty or like nasty, like sexually that too, but not like in that sense, also in a sense of where like y'all don't be having shit like y'all, y'all be ignorant the way y'all think be fucking ignorant, the way you live, the shit that you stand for, the shit that you believe. I, you know what I'm saying? And like me getting, like I'm getting old, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Every day I'm getting older and older. I'm fucking 25. It's not old to y'all, but to me, I just feel like I'm at a time in my, I'm, in a, I'm at a place in my life right now where it's like, if you're not going to be genuine and you're not going to really try and like get some shit going and like, and do something with us and do something with yourself and everything, leave me the hell alone. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I, I don't know. So anyway, it's a gnat in here too, bitch. I fucked around and ended up Linking with this one girl and when I tell y'all this bitch was pressing me she ugh, It's irritating because why why do y'all listen? Let me let me ask this if you one of these people, please re respond to this goddamn this question Why do y'all press people then get them and waste their time? Why are you doing that? You know what I'm saying like even if you don't get anything sexual out of it because the bitch didn't fuck me We didn't fuck you know what I'm saying we was honestly just hanging out. We didn't even kiss didn't even hold fucking hands Why are you pressing me? It be do you think it's because they may assume you or perceive you to be a certain way, but then once they get it, they realize it wasn't what they thought it was. So then, yeah, it could be that, or it, it could even, and this even could be down to malicious agendas. Like I, she looked like somebody I could manipulate. And then you get to this person, you realize, oh, I can't manipulate them. Like I thought I could, mm -hmm. it could be anything like that. Brent, I'm gonna tell you some real shit. Cause the younger me, I would press holes just to have sex with them. That's the younger me. But me now, I don't even press for coochie. Mm, you know, I got my own. And it's fun. And I love it here. She's pretty. She's pierced. It's always waxed, always wet. You know what I'm saying? I feed her vegetables and veggies and fucking lemon water. So she always good and ready to go. Goddamn revved up. Fuck you talking about? Can't give it to him dry like that. You gotta get that shit wet first. Come on now. Like, worry the nigga, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, the younger me, I used to press bitches. But just like... Like, now I ain't, ain't going to cap to y'all just to have sex. But me now, I be leaving hoes the fuck alone. I don't want shit from you because I have it all myself. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing from a bitch that I need on this planet that I can't get for myself or that I don't already have for myself. So the fact that y'all be pressing people and don't even like, like not saying like I would have rather her press me to have sex with me. But it's just like, why were you pressing me just to waste my time? So, so from February of last year up until now i'm single right been doing my goddamn thing so i told y'all in my last story time i started talking to that crazy hoe that was sucking dick for a living damn we gotta see to that her. i wasn't even talking to her i was hanging out with her maybe from like august to november because i told y'all she told me happy birthday so from august to november i was dealing with that dumb bitch it was a bitch before her and I was probably dealing with her in the summertime august is still kind of summertime but i was probably dealing with this other girl from like Let's say like fucking May to like July. I don't know. I'm just throwing I'm just throwing random months out there because it was probably before that or it probably wasn't even for that long. It wasn't for that long, but it was in the months of the summertime, right? 
have to keep repeating this fucking quote because it just it just it stands out to me so fucking much be aware of egotistical souls that use spirituality as a fucking cloak or like as they fucking like it's like a fucking aesthetic like they're trying it on you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying because bitches really don't be about this shit like they say that about this shit and that's okay everything is not for everybody you know what i'm saying Cri- yeah. christianity is not for fucking everybody being spiritual is not for fucking Re- any religion or any practice period may not be for fucking ever some people just out here just like fucking willy-nilly like fuck it i don't give a fuck it ain't nothing here it ain't nothing for me okay cool that's cool too you know what i'm saying everything is not for everybody so Never try and, like, force your beliefs or, like, your opinions on people. Because at the end of the day, once they get from around you, they're going to do what the fuck they want to do mm-hmm. anyway. That's what I had to learn with the spirituality shit. I used to be on Instagram all day sitting up telling people, like, you should do this, you should do that. And it ain't no God and God. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. At the end of the day, like, I'm going to say what the fuck I got to say. But at the end of the day, I can't make nobody live like me. It, it ain't your life. It ain't your, like, that's not something for you to decide. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. Be aware of egotistical souls that use spirituality as a fucking cloak. And I'm so heavy on that because I run into so many females who do that shit and I get to talking to them and I'd be like, you don't even know what the fuck you talking about. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) And before I get into story time, I just want to say spirituality is becoming such a big fucking practice. And like I said, a lot of these people not even into it. They're just trying this shit on like it's a fucking outfit for the club. Yeah. Spirituality is not... So, I had two questions, but I want to make a statement about what she just said. So, Nick and I, we was talking to this woman. And um, she was talking about the um, the the regional. Okay. Oh, yeah. She was talking <laughs> about, uh, fuck, but I don't remember what she said. She, she was saying her friend invited her to, it was, it was supposed to have been... A some, metaphysical class. Yes. And, um, they were talking about just metaphysical shit. But, and so I asked her, what is something that you learned that you didn't know when you went there? Right? I wanted to see what she was going to say. And she didn't talk about the class. She said... What did she say? I learned that I'm, I'm a twin flame. She said, I learned that I'm a twin flame. And then, so I I was going to ask her something else. And then Nick ended up talking to her. And I told Nick, she have no idea what the hell she's talking about. I think sometimes a lot of people, don't get me wrong, depending on who you're hanging around, you can get caught up into some stuff and just be like, okay, well, let me just see what this is is about. It doesn't mean that they live the life. But yeah, like when we left, me and Nick both had a conversation and we was just like, she have no idea. You know, maybe she's still in her learning phase. I don't know. Yeah, but it just be the people who try to act like they know what they're talking about and you just can tell they don't or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So, but I also want to wonder what she meant about pressing her. Maybe she'll get more into that. Like, what does she mean when she say, why are you pressing me and wasting my time? Like, what is it that they're doing? Are they like, 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 we need to link up. We need to link up. Like, is it something like that? Maybe they doing the most like, oh, would you like to meditate together? Or would you like to, uh, I don't you know, like meditate. No, I mean, just doing like a lot of yeah. like spiritual shit. Like, oh, yes, the stars in the sky, you know, just shit like that. And then you want to go ground today? And then with, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe like maybe uh when taco finally give her to them her attention then it's like all that energy is gone yeah I-, I won't even say this shit is really a practice anymore because so many people are into it it's more so becoming an aesthetic and people don't know what the fuck they be getting themselves into one thing i honestly want to tell y'all don't be on tiktok don't be on tiktok trying all them shits that you see on tiktok Same. tiktok gonna have y'all conjure up the fucking devil yeah. don't be a spe- let me hold on listen did this for my people of color and my black people listen hear me and hear me good don't be on fucking tick you know i'm serious i'm looking at y'all niggas don't be on fucking tiktok trying spells and and, and goddamn all types of fucking root work and, and voodoo and hoodoo and they white don't do that. You know what I'm saying? If they the color of this fucking background, don't take no fucking advice for them. Do you know? Nigga! <laughs> do you know who 
they ancestors are. Don't do that shit. <laughs> what Pocahontas daddy said? These white men are dangerous. What you like? Literally, like, do not be man. TikTok gonna have Valak from the Conjuring in your house. Don't be on TikTok. All these love spells and even. Even if you're a person who don't believe like the shit is possible or the shit don't work, it ain't no such thing as magic, it ain't no such thing as spells. Honey. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're that type of person, even if you even if you just doing something just to do it as like a fucking playful act, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because like mm-hmm. a lot of y'all, y'all don't know. You know what she just made me think about? What? Remember that story Lovely T told us about with that girl and her boyfriend? And how they was reading those books. Oh, yeah. And and so, I guess they... I can't remember the name of the book. And I'm glad I don't remember the name of the book. Because apparently, it's some, some deep shit going on. So, they felt like... Even though people were saying, Oh, stay away from the book. It's some, you know, devil worshiping stuff. They was like on some... I don't believe it. So, they, I guess they was reading the book. Out loud. Out loud. And it was certain quotes, like, speaking in another tongue, I think. And, um, yeah. so It's the same couple. So, this is it. They're no longer here with yeah. us. Either one of them. Yeah. I, I don't remember that couple name, but they actually went viral. Like, it's that same, I don't were they a social media couple uh, where the boyfriend ended up murdering the girl um, in, like, the Grand Canyon or something. Not the Grand Canyon, but out there, out west. And then later he ended up committing suicide it's just crazy yeah. yeah so it's like i do believe that i it was like i was raised on not that my people did it but i do know that my grandma went to someone but my mom she was totally against like just certain things like when you start talking about witch doctors or spells it's like my mama it's like she don't want to hear nothing like that she was not trying to be part of it so me i grew up knowing like you don't play with that stuff because it's true because it's just some stuff that has happened in our family that people have witnessed and they know that it's true so what she's saying it's true it's just certain stuff you can't get caught up in you can't be like oh i don't believe this um let me just do it so i can show y'all ass y'all wrong you don't know. It could be five years down the line. And then it could be some weird shit that'll happen. And people would be like, remember when they were saying that quote? Yeah. When Remember when they was playing saying that damn quote? Yeah. How powerful y'all are. You could be sitting there fucking playing with some shit. And next thing you know, bitch, your chair floating in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with shit. Especially stop playing with shit when it's coming from fucking white people. Don't listen to them. Not even trying to be right. Fuck that. I can't be racist. I'm black. Not even trying to be goddamn prejudiced. <laughs> not even trying to be prejudiced. You know what I'm saying? Do not be taking advice from these fucking. The last person you ever need to listen to is me. But <laughs> but before me, the last person you ever need to listen to is a white person. Let's use our common sense. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's be smart. <laughs> let's put on our thinking caps. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't be out here doing all that shit you see on TikTok. Even if it's a black person on TikTok showing you shit. Because be one on thing about wild. me, I'm big on like I'm big on like like spell work and like even like prayer and manifestation. You cannot let everybody do spell work for you. You cannot let everybody do prayer and manifestations over you because it ain't no telling who the fuck they praying to. It ain't no telling who the fuck they trying to manifest, what they trying to manifest, what they doing exactly when they do this spell work or this root work. You know what I'm saying? Like just even if you don't believe in that shit, just, just period. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you a Christian, you ever be going through something and you be like, oh, y'all pray for me, pray for me. Don't, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, because it ain't no telling who the fuck these people be praying to. So, like, I'm big on that shit. So, any fucking The reason way. I'm just talking about all this spiritual shit is because, like, I ran into this one girl and I could just tell she just wasn't there. She wasn't there mentally. And you know what? I've been attracted to a lot of dirty girls and a lot of, like, m- fucking mentally ill women and it's so funny because like <laughs> like i be showing serious signs of mental illness and y'all be like lol same <laughs> i think it's the funniest shit but no real shit like one thing one thing i don't like within the spiritual community is how like everybody's starting to label us like these bitches don't be magical they just be insane hearing voices in their head and talking to rocks 
might be but my life is going very well compared to what the fuck it was doing when i was a christian yeah you know i whatever you think of me that's what you think of me but bitch i can manifest two thousand dollars right now can you do that no so shut the fuck up ran into this one girl right um this motherfucker first of all i just want to put this out here i'm sorry if this upsets you i'm sorry if you are one of these women that i'm currently about to mention but i'm just gonna let y'all know right now spirit told me and my ancestors told me my soulmate do not have kids i just got i just gotta throw that out there i just gotta let y'all know don't dm me you got a baby don't oh my god it sounds so bad i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm being real to myself don't DM me and you have a baby. You're not my soulmate. I promise you, you're not. I already know that you're not. Spirit told me and my ancestors told me. I'm not. I can't be no step stud. I can't do it. I can't be no step mama daddy. Can't do it. Not finna be no brother sister. Can't do it. Can't be no goddamn unk T. Fuck your tummy. I can't do it. I, I, I'm fed up. I, you know how many women I done fuck with that have had kids and I was sitting there trying to play the fucking baby daddy role. It's not for me. I don't even have a child my goddamn self. So... With that being said, if you got kids, you are not my soulmate. I promise you. I love you. I love that little beautiful fucking baby that you created. I come through. I might come through like suck on your toes or something. But <laughs> but I promise you it's not going any further than that. <laughs> I, come th I come through. You know what I'm saying? I push up. For you come on, but it's not going further. It's not going any further. You, you, you're not my soulmate. I never said I was giving contribution to society vibes. I never said that. With that being said, I already knew this from jump, but like, like I always said, the red flags be looking pink to me. And this one young woman, she DMs me on Instagram, literally just randomly, just like, it had to be like fucking 3 a.m. I'm always up. I don't know what the fuck I be doing. I just be up doing dumb shit. She's saying heart eyes. Don't send me no heart eyes. Because the first thing I'm going to do is go on your fucking page to see if you worth heart eyes back. And I am trying to be goddamn ignorant. But you know, sometimes, you y'all ever seen that post and it was like, some of y'all be out y'all fucking mind DMing me. I live by that. Because sometimes, some people DM me and I be like, is this, is this what I'm giving off? Like, <laughs> am I giving off this type of vibe for these type of folks to fucking DM me? You know what I'm saying? Everybody I mean, yeah, because you can't help but to wonder like how she said she's attracting these, uh, these these weirdos i if anytime i'm attracting shit like that i always have to wonder what is it in me within me that's attracting it yeah yeah, yeah. but i'm also the believer that i don't know what she believes in i i'm getting to a point where i'm beginning to think that spirituality is subjective like different people are just like that we're all experiencing a different reality so spirituality is really looking different for like a lot of different people mm -hmm. or everybody um but yeah in their own way but it's just some people i legit be on some people page and i'd be like you look like you've been doing hair run since you was like three years old don't Damn. play with me like that you know what i'm saying Dang. i ain't even trying to be ignorant but you just you gotta know your worth yeah <laughs> you gotta know what you what you can attract you know what i'm saying she dm me some hard eyes i go on her page i get to scrolling this bitch got a baby this bitch got like a goddamn three four year old i'm like oh my god the baby's fresh <laughs> you fresh from getting nutted in this baby fresh you know what i'm saying she got all types of pictures with the baby it's a boy she got all, i don't i can't i can't do women with sons i can't because the fucking little nigga the little niggas be bad as fuck and they be ignorant you know what i'm saying and one yeah, thing i remember when i was a, a young uh whippersnapper um it was this one girl i was talking to babe you already know who she is <laughs> you already know what i'm about to say girl she had a uh this is in st louis and she was um we was in high school and she uh lived in the basement of her grandma and she had a little badass little son man her son had woke up out of his nap came and boo kicked the shit out of me in my back and what you do? You just turned around and looked at him. Nah, I, I don't remember what I did, but she, no, she jumped on him first. Like she jumped on him fast. Oh yeah, cause his his last would have been in the headlock, fucking with me. How you just gonna put somebody else's kid in the headlock like that? How your kid gonna put their foot on me? That's the question we we would have been ask, ask asking each other questions. <sighs> Out like winning specifically black women because i've seen this at play with my with my own mom one thing about black women they son can do no wrong and i don't like that shit they son can literally be the joker like fucking up right. gotham city outside causing riots fighting biting fuck you talking about 
I don't, I think it ain't even just black people. I think some women are like that period when it come down to their kids. One thing I said is, I don't care what my kids do. If they ask wrong, they motherfucking wrong. And my kids know. If you wrong, you motherfucking wrong. If you do something too dirty, I'll turn your ass in. Don't fucking play with me. Like, I always been like that. It's like, I'm the type of parent, I don't believe in protecting somebody when they're wrong. I don't care if it is my child. But I do know some people, baby, they'll protect their kids to the end. To the end. No, they ass can be wrong. And will protect their damn kids. That story we just talked about with Lovely T when that guy killed his girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And they went to his parents' house looking for him. Mm -hmm. And his parents was like, we don't know. We don't know where he is. Then allowed him to get his shit and kill himself. Like, do you not love your child? Like, what? What? Robbing old women, nigga. Fucking breaking bitches ACLs. And they'd be like, mm hmm, that's a black king right there. Your son is literally the fucking Antichrist. Like, I'm not feeling it. I'm not seeing what you're seeing, but go off, mom. I can't do women with sons. <laughs> can't do women with sons. I can, I can, if you got a daughter, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe, because little bitches, them little hoes be bad too. Um, kids be bad in general. But I think I would rather do a woman with a daughter than a woman with a son. I'm not going to explain to your son why I look like him, but I'm really what you are. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not saying I just I just don't feel like fighting a fucking seven year old boy because he asked me, why do I look like young and made? But I sound like fucking Ella May. You know what I'm saying? I'm not playing with these little niggas. <laughs> I will beat the shit out one of these little niggas for real. Nigga, you gonna be in this bitch questioning who's the real boy after I beat the shit out you. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm on Shorty Page. She got a son. I'm like, okay. She fine as fuck, though. She, she was fine as fuck. And that ass, that ass was wild. Ass Like, up. when I seen her booty and I seen, like, the videos of her twerking and moving it, I was like, yeah, I would've put a son in you too. <laughs> put a motherfucking set of twins in that motherfucker you hear me i'm like yeah i would have put a son in that bitch too i'm on her page like okay that motherfucker fine i'm scrolling a little bit more i see her doing like all these like spiritual baths and she's taking baths with like lavender and rose quartz and she's taking epsom salt baths and she got all these types of crystals and pretty candles and incense and palo santo and all this sage and shit all on her page. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Giving very much Erica Badu, giving very look at my <laughs> That's the motherfucking spiritual day. <laughs> when I see you, I be like, ooh, did you one of them bitches that smell like sage and fucking ginger tea? I like that. She's giving very much Lauren Hill. Fuck you talking about. I'm like, okay. After I finished like doing my research on her page, I DM I DM her some heart eyes back. And she was like I don't want to come off as like just forward, but I've been peeped you for a long time. Like I've been following you since like 2017. I've been following you way before you even started doing YouTube. Like I've been on your neck like crazy. Like you fine, you pretty. I want you. Oh, I like the way you think. Person. I like the way you do this, you do that. Woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? Like just going nuts. So I DM her back and I was like, you've been following me that long. And if we like why the fuck we never interacted before like why you just now saying something and she was like because i just moved back to atlanta i'm originally from what the fuck that bitch said she was from i want to say like michigan or goddamn maine or massachusetts one of the m's mexico <laughs> mississippi goddamn my idaho not <laughs> me my florida nigga <laughs> somewhere with an m bitch my california fuck you talking about she was from somewhere with an m she was like yeah i just moved back to atlanta but i'm originally from we just gonna say michigan and she was like i didn't want to hit you up and i was in michigan that just would have been a waste of time because like who the fuck really want to go back and forth like that and she was like but i just got back to atlanta i live in a city type shit it's just me and my son we just got back out here and I was going through a lot of shit with his baby daddy but woo -woo. girl once you said baby daddy you was going through a lot of shit with his baby daddy I asked that bitch off real. I said, right. oh, so you bisexual? That I be trying to get to the bottom of it. Don't play with me. <laughs> I need the car facts and I need it now. Fuck you talking about? I need the body facts, the whole facts. Fuck you talking about? The coochie facts. I need it now. Don't play with me. Don't. <laughs> so are you bisexual? <laughs> Fuck you talking about? What's your favorite color? Fucking pineapple. Are you bisexual? <laughs> talking, we DM and we getting to know each other a little bit more. She's telling me all this type of shit. 
she was like, I'm not bisexual. The only man I ever been with was with my baby daddy. You know how bad that sucks? <laughs> Oh my god, that's how bad. I don't give a fuck. You know how bad that sucks. You know how bad. <laughs> if you, if this has happened to you, I, I'm in, in no way picking at you or just saying like your life sucks. But just imagine like your first time with a nigga, you get pregnant, and then after that, you realize like I don't even like niggas. Oh, I would have sent that little baby to Jesus. I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. I am. <laughs> See, sad <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. So she's really saying before the baby came into the world. You don't know what she said. That's what she's saying. You don't know that. She's a sad. That's what she meant. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I would have did. Pro choice. <laughs> I am pro choice. I'm pro See? So Okay. So if your fetus pro do it, whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> but me, I'm telling you, I would have sent that little baby. Okay, and I just want to say um, to people who are sensitive to this subject, like we said, when you come to this channel, Come with thick skin. You never know oh, what may yeah. be said. And let's just all respect each other's thoughts and opinions. It is what it is. Yeah. So my thing is this. This is life. These are the things that happen yeah. in life. We're not going to try to sugarcoat something because somebody is sensitive to it. Yeah. It is what it is. That's what she meant. Yeah. I knew what she meant. Yeah. Jeez, crazy, man. Imagine laying down with a nigga. <laughs> and the fir your first and only time linking with a nigga you get pregnant bye baby <laughs> fuck them kids what shot they did on insecure fuck them kids <laughs> Crazy man. Hey, she made me baby. feel like I'm watching. You know when you watch Dave Chappelle and Dave Chappelle be saying some shit, some fucked up shit. You, you be, be like, like, oh my god. god. Like when he did that transgender uh 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 bit, I was just like, me and Carl was like this. Yeah. And when nobody was in the room with in the trailer with us, we was in trailer town, we were just like looking at each other like, oh my god, he said that. He really said that. Dave Chappelle don't give a fuck. Hey, this is comedy. Woo. Shit. To Jesus. Oh, <laughs> you gonna my see goodness. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing me by little baby crazy. Like, oh my God, you're pregnant. What are you gonna name the baby? Heaven. Because that's where that motherfucker is going. <laughs> Stop playing with me. She was just telling me, like, I'm I'm not even like bisexual. Like, I like women. But, like, the only man I Please like. don't judge us for laughing, y'all. <laughs> But damn, we on camera. But no, we would still be like, oh yeah, my Yeah, we goodness. still would be like, so. Whew. Now I bounced her head with it, Jesus. Oh my goodness. Then what was my baby daddy, and I just ended up getting pregnant. But like, I kind of feel like it was a blessing in disguise. Uh, that baby is going to be a blessing in disguise. Oh, it's no. My baby. <laughs> Let me stop. No, stop. I'm sorry, so she's explained to me like, I don't, I don't like men, but like, I was with a man, and now I have a son. I was like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Like, you're a great mother. You're such a loving mother. Because me, <laughs> deuces. What are you talking about in my Chris Brown voice? So, text a little bit. Before we actually link up, we was texting for like a good little minute. We was texting a lot, and we was FaceTiming. So, like, one of our conversations was about coffee. And then... Yeah, one of our one of our conversations was about oh, coffee. Nice. And I remember her telling me she would she was dunking donuts over Starbucks. And oh, I felt nice. like right there, that should have been my fucking red flag. You gonna choose Dunkin' Donuts, gas station tasting ass right. coffee over Starbucks. She's talking about something I just feel like Starbucks do too much. It's too fancy. So you gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts literally mm -hmm. tastes like Afghanistan. You gonna choose Bitch, that shit tastes like truck stop coffee. Fuck you talking about. Coffee yeah. tastes like they brewed that shit in a jail toilet. Crazy man. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I got mad about that shit. I said, yeah, I'm gonna, you're cut off. <laughs> Bitch, I almost blocked her. What the fuck type of shit? We was just like conversing a lot, talking. So it was one day we finally like planned to link up, right? So <laughs> this motherfucker was just, I don't know. Like you ever get around somebody and she, oh my, okay, listen. So her, she smoked a lot. She smoked a lot. I don't know how I keep coming in contact with these potheads, but God damn, it is nothing wrong with smoking. I can't, you get what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with smoking. I'm not judging somebody because they smoke a lot. Bitch, I eat mushrooms like they're starbursts. It's nothing wrong with smoking a lot, but 
I don't like people who smoke and they get fucking dumb. I don't like that. She didn't get dumb, but she more so just got like weird as fuck. Well, like with me, when I get high, like I always say, when I get high, I'm paranoid. I'm one of them people who get high and I become mute. Don't say shit to me. Yeah, <laughs> don't me talk to me. Don't look at me. <laughs> don't like just relax. Let's if we li- like if we chill. listen to the music, let's just listen to the fucking music. Everybody shut the fuck up. Don't touch me. Leave me alone. I'm trying to concentrate on the fucking blood flow in my body. Yes. I can literally hear my white blood cells in my mitochondria doing what the fuck you need to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them people when I get high. If you got some music playing, please shut up. If you got a movie going, please shut up. Mm-hmm. If you have neither one of those, just shut up. <laughs> Don't talk to me, bro. I'm literally trying to focus on on my goddamn vagina creating discharge. That's <laughs> so nasty. But literally, like, just shut up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I can feel my nail beds growing when I'm high. Don't play with me. She was one of the people. When she get high, she get weird. And I noticed, like, every time she would come around me, she was high. I, I don't, I, I'm not gonna say I don't like people like that, but I kind of feel like, can I ever see the sober you? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, why do you always feel the need to be high no matter where you go, what you doing, who you linking with? Why, why you can't come around me sober? Like, what you doing? I don't like shit like that. Like, am I weird to you? Like, <laughs> what type of question is that? Yes, bitch, on this motherfucker looking like Flapjack. <laughs> I don't like Flapjack right now. <laughs> Knuckles, not really. <laughs> come on. One thing I'm just so big on is like, I don't like when people always come around me and they be like faded or they be drunk. Like, why you don't want to be sober around me? What am I doing? Like, am I disturbing your goddamn demons or something? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't like when people always want to be around me, but they want to be high or they want to be drunk. Why you can't just be yourself? I want to know the real you. Like, what? She was one of the people, every time she got high, she would just be fucking weird. She was weird. And she was light skinned as fuck. She was bright as hell. When she would get high, all of this right here would be red. And I used to just be looking at her like, God damn, did you smoke weed or did you smoke fucking anthrax? Like, what the fuck, babe? Why you blushing like a motherfucker in this bit looking like Miss Piggy? I'm like, why you so red? What the fuck you smoke, heron? I don't know. She she had a lot of gum action. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> Oh. gums is like protruding over the teeth oh, i'm like oh, god man. damn where your teeth is at like all it is like every time she i don't know man <laughs> i'm getting so upset just thinking about it you would see more but that's why i said i don't really like doing the whole meeting people online and shit because it's like when you see them online it was like if she had even so i mean not to be vain or anything like that but when you meet somebody in person and you already vibe with them in person, you already see everything. Like, even the way when they talk or they smile, they can't hide certain things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And maybe she was able to hide that, mask that more online. Yeah, because she was looking at that ass. <laughs> <laughs> gum to tooth ratio. The gum to tooth ratio was given very much like like horse you know what i'm saying oh my that's a lot of gum damn bitch it was just very awkward she was cute but it was just very awkward like all of this red then your eyes low as fuck and then you just always got i used to be like oh it's giving nutcracker man <laughs> whoa bitch i know you can bite the fuck out of steak can't you fuck you, talking about? you be ordering your steak well well done steak don't be well done steak be giving very much congratulations <laughs> steak ain't even well done that motherfucker saying good job <laughs> We talking a lot, right? And one thing about her, she texts a lot. I don't like that. I'm always on my phone, but I'm always on my phone, like. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm picturing a horse eating. <laughs> but she's out of some steak right now with a ponytail. Ooh, it's a visual in my eye and my head. <laughs> Not you crying. Yeah, she is just funny. She's like com- stand-up comedian funny. This yeah. shit. <laughs> Whoo just doing me i'm not always on my phone talking to people i don't really like talking to people i don't like texting i don't like being on them if you can get me on the phone if you can get me on facetime and like on the phone like on a phone call or if you can get me responding to you non-stop i like you but like one thing about me i do not like being on my phone i don't like when people just want to sit on the phone i don't like that i'm not one of them fuck you talking about i am not one of them i am not him i don't like just sitting on the phone with people what you want? What do you want? You killing my battery just to sit on the phone. You're not even talking about nothing. And even if you are talking about something, I literally, I literally don't care. I literally never said I was giving contribution to society vibes. I gotta say on TikTok. No, Richard, I literally don't care. You know what I'm saying? So, like, one thing about her, she was, like, a heavy texter. Like, 
she would text me not she would text me so much it would get to the point where i would have to text her back and be like i'm busy right now like hold on and it wouldn't even be like she was just texting like like continuously like back to back to back it would be more so like sporadic like she would text at like 105 and then come back at 135 and then text twice at 140 then disappear then come back at 201 p.m text me four times then leave come back at three o'clock from all those texts she would she would barely get a response and i used to just be like stop like <laughs> like not saying like she was thirsty or like i was making her chase me i just don't i don't care to talk to people i don't care to text it was one day we finally decided to like link up i invite y'all to my spot just because like why not so we link up she come over we we turn i turn a movie on because i don't know what else like i'm i'm not no good hostess don't come to my spot think you're gonna have the time of your life you gonna watch this movie and you gonna shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's all you getting out of me. You're not getting no coochie. <laughs> not fixing you no meal. Fuck you talking about. You a come bad here and watch this movie and shut up and then go home. <laughs> she had my spot. We watching the movie. I don't know. She just, she was just rubbing me the wrong. Like, being around her, I felt uncomfortable. And like, not in a sense of like, I felt like she was gonna do something or like set me up or she was gonna have somebody run up in my house. I just felt, I felt weird being around her, right? After that first link up, we was just talking a lot, texting. One thing I noticed about her, every, every conversation she was talking about, like being spiritual in some way. And literally we could be talking about McDonald's and she would just be like, yeah. And you know, like with the McDonald's French fries, I just feel like when you eat them, they just kind of block your penile gland. And I'm just sitting here like, Shawty, all I asked was, do you prefer McDonald's fries? <laughs> do you prefer McDonald's fries or Chick-fil-A fries? And, because you know, just her mentioning that it just made me think about me and Carla. Uh, a lot of our followers, we have followers who've been following us for years. Yeah. And um, I think people would consider us spiritual. Um, you can call it whatever you want. I just know I have a mission that I've signed up for when I came on this, pl it came into this place, which was to be a light and, and that's it. And just have fun. Me, have fun, create, manifest, just have a good ass time. Not to get caught up in all this shit. But I think, uh, with me and Carla, we probably don't do as much as like majority of these spiritual people in the spiritual world. Like we yeah. don't get sage and like, like light it up and like we really don't do that y'all we literally just live our life and just yeah. laugh all the fucking time and yeah. that's it and wear our crystals yeah like... we like our crystals i mean we get into a little bit here and there but when it comes to doing all that extra shit you know throw throw salt up in the air or or uh <laughs> whatever that tarot cards all that shit we don't get up in none of that shit y'all we're I think people would consider us spiritual as hell. I don't give a fuck what you consider me as. Um, but <laughs> I think a lot of the people in that world, you they do the most. Because I was thinking about that lady with Taco said, stay away from TikTok when that lady said, blow salt in front of your front door. Yeah, I'm like, bitch, I'm not about to get some salt and throw it in my front. I'm not doing all that. I'm not. Yeah. So if you're if you're if you consider yourself spiritual, you're like, damn, I'm not doing enough because you see people taking like crystal baths and all. Just look at me and call. I don't take crystal. We baths. don't do shit like that, y'all. We yeah. just live our life. I don't even put crystals in my sea moss. I don't. I mean, I know some people do, but if you I do don't, it, that's you know, fine. To own. But we're just talking about us. We like, don't what do we all do, that. We don't do. We it. bag plain bag but chips. But the most I do is um, light a candle. While I'm taking a bath, soaking. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. I'm sort of a five guys and a burger fry bitch myself. You oh, know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, what are you talking about? Every conversation, hear me and hear me good. Every conversation. Yeah, and I was, this morning when I woke up, I was meditating under the sun <laughs> and the wind was blowing about 30 degrees west, but I could feel my soul shifting 25 degrees north. What you talking about, Shawty? All I asked was if you had coffee this morning. Do you want some? What you talking about? Every convo I put this <clears> on <throat> my ancestors. Every convo. Then start getting to the point where <laughs> I told this on my podcast. This is all I can tell y'all. Gotta tap it with my podcast. It got to the point where like one thing about me, I like how I look. So if I'm feeling cute, I'm gonna send you a little video. I'm gonna send you a little picture. I'm one of them bitches. I'm feminine. Fuck you talking about, bitch. Bae, look at me. <laughs> look at me today, bae. I put my hair up. Look like, 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 boy. I put my hair up today, bae. If I feel like I look good, you going you gonna get a flood of some pics and some videos. Fuck you talking about. You gonna get one of them goddamn faux attachments text message. So 
she she would do that but when she would send me shit like the caption would just be so goddamn corny giving very much corn ball like bitch you corn on a cob bitches is corn nuggets fuck you talking about so like she would send me videos and she would like be zo it was this one video i talk about this shit every time somebody asks me about this bitch she sent me this one video right before i watched the video i read what the text attached to it said and she was like, I'm so powerful. So, <laughs> oh, cringe. cringing. Yes. The text attached to the video said, I'm so powerful. Sometimes my own, my own energy scares me. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking a bitch in the video doing like some Matilda shit. I'm thinking she done got damn bent a fork with her fucking mind, like on some goddamn telekinesis. <laughs> I'm like, that bit powerful for real. I'm, I'm thinking she giving very much like Raven from Teen Titans or something. Literally the video was just her just like, with a fucking TikTok song in the background. I'm like, the fuck did I just couldn't even explain to myself what i just watched i'm like what the fuck was powerful because you zoom i'm thinking like the bitch zooming in with her mind i'm like damn it <laughs> like damn it bit really is matilda you know what i'm saying i'm just watching the video and i'm like what the fuck I tell y'all the video was like 15 seconds long and That's she long. said i'm so powerful sometimes my own power scares me i'm like bitch what the fuck you think you a sanderson sister from hocus pocus she would send me videos like that non-stop though she sent me a couple videos like that and each video i just be like mm, that's so crazy <laughs> fake it i'm like mm, that's so crazy each video y'all she would just be like staring into the camera i'm like bitch what the fuck you think you harry potter you think you hermione granger ron weasley fuck you draco malvoy like bitch you giving very much dobby fuck you <laughs> dobby is free <laughs> to reiterate like i said the reason I was mentioning all that spiritual shit in the beginning is just because I feel like people be so full of shit and they try and convince everybody but themselves like of the person that they really are. You your biggest critic. Anything and everything you think of yourself, you your own fucking critic. Fuck what everybody yeah. else think. Fuck what everybody else be talking about. Fuck what somebody telling you to do and be. Fuck that. It's your life. You your biggest critic. You know what I'm saying? I don't like when people are trying to convince everyone but themselves. You don't need to convince nobody about shit about yourself but yourself. You know what I'm saying? So like with her, that was like the vibe I was picking up on. Like she would just always talk about spiritual shit. I do this. I do that. I be drinking this. I be eating that. I be living like this. I'm doing that. I practice this. I do this. I use my period blood and I do it. And I'm just like, I never asked <laughs> who <laughs> when, when it just got it got to the point where i started becoming like uncomfortable because i'm like shawty that's lovely i love that for you but like i don't care. i never ask i i like like and not to come off like i'm like i'm like downplaying it but it's just like we would literally be having certain conversations and next thing i know she would just reroute it to like some spiritual shit and i used to just be like i ask you if you like spongebob <laughs> what like i asked if you if you watch scooby-doo what's new scooby-doo like what are you talking about right now it started getting to the point like she would tell me all this in person but every time we linked up i felt uncomfortable and i used to just be like is it me <laughs> is it me am i the drama like, am i the demon in disguise you know what I'm saying? Like, am, am i the succubus like real shit like am i the dementor like maybe <laughs> maybe i'm living the lie like all right y'all so the uh camera had froze a little bit but um what I was saying is, uh, I think it's cool to be, you know, to be spiritual and to be caught up in learning different things, especially with us just being exposed to so much now. But don't nobody want to just sit up and talk about this shit all the time. Like, ultimately, me, I just like to have a good time. I like to laugh and create. I love to create. Yeah, I know. I told Nick, I said, you know, sometimes, you know, I we can look at people. And we can see how funny people are moving. And we're just like, do they know how they look? Like, mm -hmm. do they realize that they're looking funny? <laughs> and it's like, I don't want those type of people around me. So then it made me, you know, ask Nick, you think we look funny to people? You think we're out here moving in the world and people like, I don't know what Nick and Carla are doing. So Yeah, I'm pretty sure we probably do look funny to some people. I don't it's really know. based off of like people's lives the narrative they tell themselves what they believe in and how they perceive us 
and all that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but this right here, when that girl would have been sending me them damn videos, oh, I'd have been like, don't send me no more videos. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah I would have made her ass feel as uncomfortable as she was making me feel it's like people be thinking a lot of themselves and really they're like a right I'd be like if you want to post that shit online post that shit online but you ain't gotta send it to me if you post it online if it's meant for me to see it I'll see it but like legit like every time she would come around she was high or she would have been drinking before she came over one time we linked up she bought a bottle with her and I was just like, damn, Shawty, like, like, I don't mind drinking, but it's like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't drink with everybody. That's, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know what you did to this bottle prior to you bring. And then, like, the bottle was already, like, half gone. I don't know what you did to it. You could have sprinkled some goddamn crack in there, you know what I'm saying? Crack in that, bitch. I just drink it. I don't got it. Every time you come around me, you not sober. Like, I'm not complaining. I'm not trying to sound like a parent or, like, a lame, like, I just, I don't know, like, yep, yes, I, yes, I sometimes, every now and then I smoke weed. Every now and then I, I have a drink. One thing I, I mainly do is mushrooms. I, da I dabble in it, yes, but when, I feel like when somebody always has to be higher, they always, they always, like, you gotta be drunk or you gotta be higher. You, what's going on for real on the inside? Like, why do you feel like you always gotta yeah. not be sober? You know what I'm saying? And that was the shit with her, but like, Whenever you come around me, you're not sober. But once we get on the phone or once we FaceTime or we texting, you tell me I do this and I do that and I practice this. And, I, and I'm just like, I'm not getting them vibes in person, though. I'm only getting them vibes over the phone. But then when you come in person, you damn near off your ass. You know what I'm saying? So, like, we linked up a couple more times. We never did nothing sexually. We never even kissed. We just watched movies all the fucking time. So, like, it was one day she was supposed to link up with me, right? And it kind of blew me because she had a lot of deaths in her family. This was like when COVID was hitting everybody, right? She had a lot of deaths in her family. I think like three of her people died from COVID. Okay, my condolences to your family. Rest in peace to them. We were supposed to link up one of, these, one of them nights. And I had got her some flowers. <laughs> I'm so, oh my God, I hate bitches. I'm going to give me a boyfriend. I, I got her some flowers. I... I don't do shit like that. I'm not no flower giving bitch. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Hey, Do's she could be like, I just found this couple on uh, TikTok. It's a um, okay. The the so it's a tr I'll say it's a trans man. Uh, however, they have not transitioned like physically, uh, like on the outside. So they actually look like Taco, and uh, they have. I'm gonna say they. Um, they have a boyfriend. So it's just like, it's just an interesting thing to see. It's an interesting <laughs> thing to see. Watching this, I'm not gonna get you some flowers, but I'll give you some money. You know what I'm saying? You can do what you please with the money. I'm just not no flower picking bitch. I like flowers, but I'm, I'm being honest, I'm not no flower picking bitch. I've just never been that type of bitch. I got her some flowers and I got her some a, a car because she had all these fucking deaths in her family. So we were supposed to link up, right? The bitch goes missing. She not even like... We were supposed to link up at night. It's literally still during the day. The bitch is like, she's missing. She never texts back. She never responds. And I'm just like, God damn. The night starts settling and I sent her a picture and I sent her a text. And I was like, I hope you feeling good. I got these for you just in case if we ever link up again. Bitch don't never text back. Just goes missing. After that, I ain't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? You you got one time to fuck up with me. Obviously not from the last story time. But <laughs> y'all shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. I'm going to have to watch that. You got one time to like... Nah, like real shit, like I feel like when I do something from my heart and I feel like if it go unnoticed, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that might be like a flaw, like a characteristic to some of y'all, but I don't give a fuck. Me being me, when I do something genuine and from my heart, when it go unnoticed, that shit kind of hurt my feelings. You know what I'm saying? So like it hurt my feelings. Shut y'all done picked out these nice ass, expensive ass white roses. Bitch, where you at? <laughs> Bitch, come get these roses. Fuck you talking about? Like that shit gonna hurt my feelings. And I got you a card. <laughs> I did the most. Fuck you talking about? I did the utmost. Bitch. <laughs> After that, I was just like, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like I are, I are like my feelings was already depleting because. Cause I'm kind of like, why do you keep coming around me high as fuck? But then when we talking on the phone, you such a wonderful, spiritual, happy, go lucky, down to earth person. But every time you get around me, you drinking the devil's juice and smoking the devil's Latin. <laughs> I'm not one of them people, but for real, like it was, it started like kind of throwing me off. Then every time you do get around me, I feel weird. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, okay, whatever. Once she didn't come through with the flowers and shit, I was just like, okay, whatever. I don't give a fuck. 
So that was like, honestly, like my last time linking up with Shorty. When I tell y'all she was blowing my shit nonstop, she would not stop. She was blowing my phone. Like, she was texting my shit so much and calling it so much that I thought at one point the shit was going to catch on fire. I'm like, Damn. look, I need you to calm the fuck down because I need a haircut. I'm like, if, if you're not going to pay this goddamn phone bill, it ain't no reason why you should be blowing my goddamn phone up. She was going nuts. You hear me? It was one day I literally had to tell her. Like, I had to, like, call her and tell her. And I was like... I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you. Like the other night when you just disappeared and you didn't even and like at least update somebody, you know what I'm saying? It kind of hurt my feelings and like I'm not I'm not in no no space in my life where I wanna get my feelings hurt again. I just don't feel like it. Like that shit don't feel good. I'm healing, you know what I'm saying? And in between me healing, I don't wanna have to deal with no shit that's gonna hurt my feelings or break my heart if I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, we don't date and we don't talk. We never established that we was doing any of that. But the fact that I went out my way to do like this fucking act and you just disappear and you never, like at least let me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like at least like tell some, like bitch, I was really worried about you. You know what I'm saying? Like you got all these deaths happening in your family. Something could have went fucking wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Like people yeah. react fucking terribly to death. Like, shit she could have got there killed herself for all i know like the fact that you just went missing like that bitch you had me worried <laughs> i'm thinking like donna brought that bit flowers this whole summer hanging from a goddamn ceiling fan you know what i'm saying so like let me know she was just like oh i'm sorry something came up i was just really busy and you know i've been dealing with all these deaths i understand that i get you you know what i'm saying like it ain't no hard feelings ain't no bad blood but like i told her i was like you don't have to keep blowing my phone up like I don't, I told her straight up, I was like, I don't want you waiting for my response. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I'm not that type of person like that. If I don't want to talk to you, I genuinely would tell you, I don't want to talk to you. Like, I don't like having people waiting for me or on me. Don't do that because I'm telling you right now, I'm not going to come through. <laughs> I'm, t I'm telling you right now, I am not going to, I am not going to come through, my nigga. I'm not going to meet your standards. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, don't be waiting on a response or a call from Taco because it ain't coming. I promise you. I, when I, when I already put in my mind that I don't want to talk to you no more. Yeah, that's that on that. It's, it's never coming back. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want you waiting around for like my text or my response. So you don't have to text me as much. Or you don't have to call me as much. Like, I was just like, I'm kind of over it now. Man, from that message and on, she just continued to do the same thing. Text, call, text, call, text, Ugh, call. And what? I'm like, what the fuck did I just say? Did I just, fuck, bitch, was I speaking fucking gibberish, bitch? Like, it ended up getting to the point where... You know what? It's because she wasn't upfront about how she truly felt. Like, yeah, she was like, I don't want you to be waiting on me. I just would have been like, like, I'm good on talking to you. Like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Because at this point, it's not going where I thought it was going to go. I think that's the thing. Sometimes people feel like they're communicating and they're not. Like, even though she said, I don't want you waiting on me. Like, what does that mean? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I hear what you're saying. You don't want me waiting on you. So, in other words, it can be like, oh, so if I message her, she might not message me back. She probably got some other shit going on. That whole you politics, know, but politics. it's like be really upfront and just be like, I ain't feeling this shit no more. I ain't feeling your vibe. I don't like your vibe when you're around me. So it's like I'm good. Like we can still be cool. Like I still like your pictures. You can still like mine. But other than that, this ain't going nowhere. eventually it faded out like eventually she stopped hitting me up but she was still responding to like my instagram stories and shit it started getting strange and weird because like she would respond to my instagram stories and then i would get a notification that she was following me you know what i'm saying you know what the fuck i'm saying like you you know like on instagram when you block somebody and then unblock them so y'all both not following each other that i kind of feel like that's what the fuck she was doing and i'm gonna tell y'all why she was doing that it got to the point where she would respond to my Instagram stories. Okay, cool. I would hard it, keep it pushing. But then, like, every day that passed, it was like, she, it would be like, so-and-so, I almost said that bitch Instagram name. It would be like, so-and-so followed you. This person followed you. Follow back. New notification on Instagram. So-and-so just followed you. So-and-so just liked three pictures. New mm -hmm. DM from so- And I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing? So, one day, I took it upon myself, I took it upon myself to go on her page and she had a bunch of shit arch archived archived or the fuck y'all say i say archived she had a bunch of shit archived so i'm like 
what are you doing? Like, bitch, you trying to make a comeback? <laughs> fuck you doing, bitch? You trying, you trying to revamp? Like, last. Like, so I'm like, okay. I click follow back because what the fuck are you doing? I click follow back, right? Another day pass. The same thing happened again. It says so-and-so is following me. So I go on her page and it says follow back. And I'm like, like, what you doing? You, like, why are you being weird? Me! <laughs> Let me tell y'all. Days pass by, days pass by. I'm not hearing from her. She's still just doing the same shit. Unfollow, follow back, unfollow, follow. Light pics, DM, weird. respond to my story. Light pics, DM, yeah. unfollow, unfollow back, unfollow. So I'm just like, you know what? I just started like ignoring it after a while because I got so many notifications. I was just like, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I'm on TikTok, right? You know with TikTok, whatever you like, that's what your FYP is going to be. For, for the older people watching. <laughs> Let me explain this. For the older people watching, whatever you like on TikTok, that's what it's going to show on your For You page. You know what I'm saying? So on TikTok, I be liking a lot of tattoo videos. I be liking a lot of Chris Brown and Chloe Bailey videos. I be liking a lot of them videos when them motherfuckers be in the woods. And they be cooking. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about? Y'all have seen the video. Let me yeah. tell y'all. <laughs> the videos when they be in the woods, right? And they be using like the fucking woods and the logs and the timber and shit. And they be like setting it up. And then they put their skillet on top of the fire. I ain't saying that. they be that. like catching fucking wild fish in a lake. And they be goddamn unscaling, descaling, whatever the fuck, <laughs> whatever the fuck you do to fish to take the scales off. Descale, unscale, fuck you talking about. They be goddamn slicing. And they be flopping that bitch in the pan, fried up real good. I'm like, you doing all this in the wood? <laughs> you doing all this cooking in the wood? That shit, man. That shit be impressive i be wanting some i like a lot of them videos like a lot of like lesbian couples or like lesbians in general like if a cute ass girl come on my, my for you page i'm gonna like it or if a cute ass lesbian couple on my shit i'm gonna like it i'm on tiktok i'm scrolling right mind you i don't follow this bitch it was just like serendipity it was like the universe herself said i'm gonna show you why this bitch just disappear on your ass i'm on tiktok i'm scrolling Next thing I know, I see a little light skinned bitch. I was looking. And I said, That's that's the light skinned bitch that was just at my spot. Damn, I said, and I even own no type of time like that. Cause genuine, honestly, genuinely, deeply, truly. I didn't fuck her. But I'm just like, you was just at my spot on my couch watching TV with me playing in my hair. Like, what the fuck you know what I'm saying? So like, I'm like, mm. so the video cute, video starting off with her goddamn doing dumb shit, dancing. Next thing I know, I see a goddamn dark skin stud. I said, you bitch. <laughs> Fuck, That's like, why, you, didn't you say in the beginning, you was like, you wouldn't even believe that she wasn't bisexual or something? Yeah, I said I wouldn't trust that. Why? Just because. It's like, <laughs> it's just the story she gave. Oh, well, it was my first time. Because I guess I know of a situation like that. So, yeah, I wouldn't have trusted. Don't be the girl still, like, getting a little, a little hint of dick on the side. And they be like, I'm, but I'm lesbian, though. Yeah. I'm lesbian. Yeah, I just get a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, like, they in the video, like, beady bottle booed up, nigga, word. The goddamn, what's that little bitch name? Who sing that song? Her? Who sing that song? Normani? Whoever the fuck seen the booed up song? Uh, Ella May. Ella May. No, who sing that song? Yeah, Ella <laughs> May. Whoever bitch Fantasia, whoever sing that booed song, up. they was beady bottle booed up. You know what I'm saying? Like, going <laughs> crazy. Like, kissing tongue all in a... Yeah, yeah, what? Looking, looking very much like my shirt. Fuck you talking about? Shout out to Uncut Identity. Like, giving very much my shirt vibes. I'm like, this not no fresh relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be lesbians move very fast, but like, the way you like booed up, and kissing this bitch and then you making videos and you making tiktoks so i took it upon myself to do more research i went on i clicked on her tiktok you know what i'm saying like it was the light skin girl tiktok i clicked on her tiktok i'm scrolling this bitch is literally in like five plus videos like her page was like half of this fucking girl and some of the videos dated back like months before so i'm like why the fuck it's gonna be pissing me off time. why are you yeah. hitting me up if you was just on a little breakup or if you was just on like a little rocky situation type shit with your bitch, do not hit me up. Cause I'm telling you right now, I'm a fuck this shit. I'm a fuck you like a dog, bitch. I don't play with me like that because the moment I tie your ass up like a slave and I fuck this shit out you and I send you back to your bitch, don't come around these parts acting fucking insane. Cause I promise you, I'm gonna expose your ass. I'm gonna tell your ex everything I did to your nasty ass. Don't play with me like that. But it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do none of that with her, but it still kind of annoyed me and rubbed me the wrong way because it's like, when you're a lesbian, you never really break up until you break up. Y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? Because y'all gay. When you are in a lesbian relationship, you never really break up until y'all break up. 
bitches break up 40 times in one month you never really break up until you break up you know what i'm saying so like if y'all was on a little rocky situation if y'all was going through a little rough patch why are you hitting me up playing with me like on dick like i been wanted you i been this i been that and i be playing with crystals and i be putting fucking <laughs> amethyst crystals in my coochie i kind of feel like she was like <laughs> fake pitching a bunch of like spiritual shit to me just to get closer because, to me yeah but then when shit really wasn't playing out on her end i kind of feel like she was like all right i'm done with this taco bitch because she's not really doing what the fuck i want her to do which you probably wanted to fuck but like yeah. you could have told me that we could have had something <laughs> not just playing but i'm not but i am you know what i'm saying like why do you play with me like that like so i took it upon myself i liked a couple of them goddamn videos and i commented i put heart eyes in a little orange heart y'all know i love my orange heart emoji i love the orange heart emoji you ever want to know if you talk to the real taco i'm gonna send you an orange heart <laughs> if i don't see you an orange heart emoji it's not really me literally I like a couple of videos. Now all heart. the fake uh, tacos gonna be sending that shit. <laughs> and I put the orange heart emoji. Y'all, this bitch blocked me on TikTok. <laughs> ah! oh, damn. I, know, I didn't want to like see some more videos. I just wanted to show my love and my goddamn support. <laughs> what you talking about? She blocked me on TikTok. No! But she can unfollow you and follow you on Instagram. That's she's a narcissist probably. She looked, she was uh... Like, what was she trying to do? Get her attention? Was it like, hey, Look, pay attention to me. Unfollow, follow, unfollow, follow. Yeah, she like attention. She egotistical. She feel like it's all about her. She was plotting on her ass, thinking she could use that spirituality shit to get her. Cause she know that's what Taco like. Yeah, you got a lot of wolves in sheep clothing. That's why it's like me and Carla, and that's one thing I was gonna say too for the camera froze, how people could look at us funny because they could think that, oh, these two girls, they're maybe they're spiritual, so they expect us to behave one way when that's not what me and Carla are. That's mm -hmm. not, we are, we like to spread light on shit, and that means spreading light on shit. Helping people see dark shit, or wolves in sheep clothing, what, mm -hmm. however the message have to get delivered, that's how it needs to be delivered. Yeah. Um. So you can say, think, or whatever, or think that we're weird, or, or funny, or whatever, but we don't give a fuck, because it's a lot of this going on right now. Mm -hmm. Have y'all noticed an increase in the word narcissist even being used? Sociopaths. All of that. It's because it's just so many people getting exposed, and they need to, because yeah. no one needs to be moving around like that. Yeah. She's still she's still following and unfollowing me on Instagram till this Weirdo. day. Till this day, she's still doing that, and I'm just like, what the fuck? So it was one day. Let me go find I had this like, questions thing up on my Instagram. This is recent too. What am I? What what did I put up there? I think it was something like, if you ever met me in person, what or it was something like around the lines of like, if you ever met me in person or if we ever hung out in person, like describe me or type shit. She responded to it. She gonna put. A ethereal being, <laughs> a ethereal, a ethereal being, so down to earth. The vibes are just out of this work, man. Shout it, eat a dick, <laughs> eat your girlfriend, dick. What you talking about? Bitch, don't play with me. I responded to that shit. I said thanks. Like, <laughs> what? What do you want from me? Like, why you being weird to me? Man, I, I didn't like that. That shit was so lame to me. Like, why? Why did you do all that? Just the way I hate having my time wasted don't Ugh. why would you do that you know what i'm saying like never once did i ever state like i want to talk to you or i like you on those or i like you on that level or we should do this we should kick it like this i never said that we honestly was just hanging out so the fact that you play shit like you know what I'm saying? I, I don't like that so now i'm sitting here thinking bitch did your family really die <laughs> that's so fucked mm. up but honestly did your family really die or was you just saying that because i don't think it's fucked up for her to think that because yeah. i'm telling you that's just how dirty some of these people are mm -hmm. it's disgusting your other bitch spot and you couldn't make it to my spot you could just told me that yeah you could, one thing about me you ain't gotta lie to me because i promise you i don't give a fuck you don't have to lie to me i don't give a fuck i look at me <laughs> i say this every day to people look at me look at me do I look like a bitch that gives a fuck? Look at me. <laughs> look look at me. <laughs> Do I look like a bitch that give a fuck? Because I don't. Fuck you. I, I literally don't care. Like, you don't got to lie to me. If you, if you want to kick shit, like, just on friend level, we can do that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I don't know. It just really blew me because now I'm sitting here thinking, like, was all that spiritual shit just a front as well? Because, like, you yeah. just trying to get close. I don't, I don't like shit like that. If you're not spiritual, you're not spiritual. I don't give a fuck. I done knocked down Christians, atheists, Jews, Muslims, <laughs> um, 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 <laughs> seven day events. 
<laughs> what's some shit's called? Seven day Adventist. <laughs> no, for real. What is it called? Advances. I don't got it. Atlantis. What are you talking about? Advancement. Like what? <laughs> Test advancement. <laughs> Fuck you mean. I don't know. That's so many. Like, you ain't got to kick shit with me. Like, like you trying to, like, get closer to me. I'm not God. You know what I'm saying? You you kicking shit like you trying to get closer to me like I'm God. I promise you I am not close to that man. <laughs> I do not know that man. Sorry to break it to you. I do not know who this man is. I'm sorry to this man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, now I'm just sitting here and I'm just like, when everything played out the way it played out on TikTok, I really was just asking myself, like, was the bitch really spiritual? Was the bitch really dealing with, like, family deaths? Or was this bitch just playing shit just because, like, she was on a break with her bitch and she kind of wanted to get back at her bitch and just be funny with it. Yeah, don't do not do shit like that with me. I'm, I'm not the type of bitch you need to use to make your ex jealous because I promise you I'm going to do the fucking most and then I'm going to send you back to that bitch. You're not my soulmate. <laughs> I know who my soulmate is. I promise you it's it's none of y'all. It's not not y'all, but it's none of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that was it for this story time. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, I don't give a fuck. You probably that bitch. Oh, come on here leaving no lame comments. I mean, you can leave them on. We give a fuck. Balsamic <laughs> vinegar. That's a really big word for Elmo. Moral of this story. I forgot I didn't give a moral in my last story. So I'm going to do it this story. Moral of this story is always be true to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, Don't be doing shit just to like make other people happy. I think that's like the biggest moral of this story because I honestly genuinely deeply feel like that girl didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. She was just doing that shit just to like somehow use yeah. it as like a. I mean, I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't know what really her purpose of mentioning Maybe. all that was. And I used to just sit down and be like, I literally never said any. Like you know what I'm saying? Like one thing about me, I'll talk about spirituality, but like that's not all that I am. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I am so much more than just that. You feel me? So like every conversation, every time we linked up, that's all you ever want. I was just getting to the point where I was like, can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> now now i know how like y'all be feeling when like all these bitches be like in the crystals and the sage and i just really be want to be like can you shut the fuck up <laughs> shut up like what the hell like i don't know more law is to just be true to yourself if you're not into that for real then you're not into that but if you are into that then just be careful with like the people you share with and be careful of like the things that you dabble in and the things that you practice um be careful in general um another moral of the story is just be yourself you know what i'm saying like don't be out here trying to do the most just to impress somebody be your fucking self when you when you are yourself you and you like you attract the people that need to be in your life yeah well i'm thanks. always myself so i don't <laughs> i'm always myself so i'm not understanding why i'm attracting these fake bitches am i fake like <laughs> ancestors am i fake fuck you said like what's going on <laughs> regardless be yourself um be sure to like use discernment because a lot of these motherfuckers be fake as fuck bitches be weird bitches don't really be about the shit that they talk about some of these niggas too i don't deal with niggas but i'm just throwing it out there for like the bisexual women um be yourself be authentic to yourself don't let nobody change nothing if you don't believe in something you don't believe in it if you believe in it you believe in it don't let nobody sit up here and tell you that's not that that's not how you do it that's not do what the fuck work for you you know what i'm saying um, don't be following all this shit another moral don't be following all this shit you want to see on tiktok because TikTok don't have a lot of y'all fucked up. You cannot get crystals from Walmart. You cannot get crystals from Sam's Club. You cannot get crystals from fucking QT, BP gas stations. You cannot get crystals from fucking Home Goods. Don't get no goddamn crystals from Urban Outfitters, American Eagle, Aeropostale, H&M, Abercrombie and Fitch. You know what I'm saying? Be very cautious of where you purchase like spiritual tools from. Be very cautious of metaphysical stories that you go into because a lot of these places be having fake shit. Um, even if you don't believe in it, I really don't give a fuck. I can't make you believe in it. But just be careful. Be cautious because a lot of these people be fucking evil. Don't be letting people just do spiritual work over you. Somebody DM you talking about they got a reading. No, the fuck they don't. It don't work like that. Don't let just somebody, don't just let anybody just read and see your goddamn energy. It don't yeah, I really, and me, I personally, I don't, first and foremost... I cannot stand when people reach out to us and be like, hey, can I do a tarot card reading on you? No. Yeah. Um, but uh, what was you going to say? I was going to say, because we're not sitting on here saying, oh, you know, I would be interested in that. So why would you just reach out and do that? Yeah, but I also don't get, and this, hey, to each his own, not knocking anyone's hustle. But I really, how do you, what do you feel about people who do tarot readings on, like, celebrities or youtubers <laughs> without their consent they're just just laying cards to me i guess it's just entertainment um yeah. because 
that shit is like, how, how are you sitting down, uh, flipping out, flipping and flopping out cards and saying, this is what's happening with so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. I, I, me personally, I don't get it. Yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> I think it's, I, I don't, and I don't know. Like, I think it's borderline disrespectful in a way. Cause it's almost like if, um, like whoever you're doing the reading on, if they don't have a strong enough mind to understand that they are the creators of their own realities and all this, and let's say you say some, some fucked up shit about them. Um, not saying that that's what these tarot card readers do. Cause I, I don't watch the videos, but let's say if they say something fucked up over it, and it's like, whether it's true or not, those words playing in that weak minded individual. And then it does become the reality because you spoke it. Like I, in my opinion is borderline disrespectful. Hey, that's what I said. That's what I said. People be fucking evil and they be disingenuous. A lot of this shit be fake. A lot of these people really just be fucking with y'all because they see that it's so much money in spirituality now. It's yeah. so much money in tarot readings. It's so much money in selling crystals and selling that's even sake. like with the, uh, with the vegan thing, like, um, for those of y'all who don't know, I went vegan for two and a half years just because something hit me during the time and I really wanted to take a break from meat. I started watching all the documentaries and all that. And then all of a sudden I noticed that it seemed like the whole vegan world became a trend. And with that, and people seeing the potential, the money, you had all the fast food chains and all the creating all these fake meats. So then I had to take a step back from that and thinking like, I'm sitting up here getting caught up eating all this processed crap because they're trying to make money off of us putting all these ingredients. And I was like, that ain't even healthy. So it's just when things become a trend, it's like you have a lot of just people in there for greed and the wrong reasons. Yes, it's a very large and amazing practice, but at the same time, you got to be aware of the people that's doing this shit just for some money or just for some clout. So, you know, that was it for the story time. I'm getting real sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. That's what my mama be saying. <laughs> it's like, okay, bye. <laughs> uh, okay, I thought that was a pretty cool story time. Um, uh, when Taco said, she, uh, what is it about me that's attracting these people? That's something she's going to have to figure out. She's going to have to go within and see what that shit is all about. Yeah. Um, and I think it's like she said, she's going to have to be true to herself. Um, one thing that stuck out to me, it's like, I love taco, Oh yeah. but I also know that she's young. I've been young that age before and you be feeling like shit. I got time to get my motherfucking life together. I'm just out here playing, but kind of like what you're saying, what you, um, what you spoke on, she's going to have to sit down and do some shadow work. Right. And figure out what is it that's about her that's attracting these people. And the one thing that I want to say is, is if you already know that your significant other is not somebody that have a child, why are waste you your, entertaining? Yeah, waste your time like even it. for her to give those scenarios of, you know, I'll mess with a kid, a girl with a, with a daughter before I mess with somebody with a son. But why? Why are you doing that? Because the thing is, while you sitting here entertaining a woman with a daughter, your soulmate could be right here and you could miss your soulmate because you over here entertaining something that you already know ain't good for yeah, you. Yeah, I would. And that could be that thing right there could be the thing of why you're attracting these other people. It's like you got some discord that's up in there and you yeah. got to figure that out so that you can stop attracting these type of people. Yeah, it's kind of like whatever her boundaries are, just stick to them. If the pe people ain't meeting it and they have those red flags in the beginning, and then maybe a part of this also is her learning different lessons so she can begin to see people like this more and more from a mile away. Yeah. Maybe if someone else like this come her way she'll be able to use this as an example and just know like this ain't nobody i need to entertain yeah but it's like i absolutely enjoyed her story time because yeah. we got to have some good dialogue and she you know got to talk to the people and shed some light out there so i appreciate it yeah go check out her podcast y'all um that's what's up station head uh taco tarantino all right, well, if y'all enjoyed the reaction, hit the subscribe button. Also, like the video. We hope to catch y'all next time. Peace. We made this plan to meet up. It's 9-11. That's your number, and I'm here to remind you.